Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? All right, um, I'm glad you guys tuned in on the last message. I'm um, sorry I, had, I didn't uh, do too much uh, commenting on it because uh, I was at work and, um, you know, trying to keep up with everything. But um, I will check on those comments that you, had made, you guys made on the last uh, message and, you know, make my responses or whatever. Uh, don't think I didn't hear you, right? Um, you know, I'm glad we're talking about uh, creation. Um, I'm glad we're talking about um, building. Oh, excuse me. I'm glad we're talking about constructing. Um because one thing we have to really understand is this changes the dynamics of our planet. All right. You know, there's a there's a saying that says that you have a butterfly on one side of the world sitting on top of a flower, flapping his wings. And just the motion of the wings of that butterfly uh on the flower can make a complete difference on the other end of the on the other end of the planet and it's the vibrations and it's the energy that that butterfly is giving off and this is one thing we have to um, uh, really take in consideration is the vibrations and the energies that we give off you know when we build these structures and we design these structures you know we are re we are literally reshaping the planet and these structures not only give us power and energy in the physical realm, it gives us power and energy in the astral realms also. The astral realms are important because this is this is where everything happens before it happens. All right? Before the physical, there's always the spiritual. All right? Before the physical, there's always the spiritual. And before there's a spiritual, there's a thought. <laughs> that thought that sparks up the spiritual so we have to understand understand overstand brothers and sisters that you know the importance of us returning back to our absolute strength and energy is is like um on the extreme level okay our enemies are constantly working you know we talked about you know creating the anti-winter uh, 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 intelligence which you know we talked about not only we talked about you know not the alternative currents but the uh, direct currents and we would, uh, what we have to understand is that when we create something from the ground all right we are we are creating structures that are not only planted in the ground but are are uh, rooted in the soul of our planet, rooted in the soul of nature. Okay, and this is important for us. You know, this is this is important for us to take this these these proper steps to returning back to absolute power. Okay, so when we root these things in the ground, what's happening is the energy from the ground is going up into the structure. Then it's your thoughts, your thoughts. That you created, you know, that, that, that you use to create the structure. And, you know, sometimes it can be something simple. And, you know, like for me, it's got to be complex because I have a complex mind. You know, can't get inside of my mind. You know, if, you, if the only way you get inside of my mind is you got to be on a high level. Because if you ain't on a high level, you're going to go crazy trying to figure out what I'm, what I, how my mind works and operates. And I'm pretty sure more of you have that same uh, 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 idea of yourself. So, um, it's all about you building and creating, um, uh, that which will expel extremely high levels of energy into the atmosphere and into the, um, the, into the atmosphere and into, uh, our bodies as well. Okay. Hold on. Give me a second here. Okay, so I'm back. So, um, yeah, so what, what we build 
you know, it, it sends energies throughout the atmosphere. And like I said, not only atmosphere, it sends it all throughout the universe, all throughout our galaxy, you know. Highly important for us to, you know, really uh, focus on on, on, on on these measures and these different energies, all right? So when we are focusing on higher dimensional structures and we are focusing on creating and building and designing, this is something that we as the original beings um, uh, must build upon. You know, when we when we focus when, when our focus is on on these higher dimensional the higher dimensional beings, we must build upon what we focus on. All right. Now, this is something that disrupts the AI program. All right. Say, like for instance. Um, Myself and uh, one of my buddies, you know, who's cross seas, we've been talking about building and creating. And um, I showed him my dirt project that I did, and you know, my my dirt battery or my sand battery. And you know, I was explaining to him that I only had like uh, two solid volts that came out of it. And um, you know, he was he was like, you know, maybe you can get you some different dirt and put some um, and put some uh, lithium salt in it so i was like okay so i'm going looking up lithium salt and it's like it's not helping me out and the ai system see that i'm looking for lithium salt but it does not respond to the lithium salt but then if you look at the if you look at the ai uh, system you know the artificial intelligence system and you yeah you pull up nike shoes you're going to get nike shoes nike socks bras underwears uh gears you can get uh, a nike headband wristband you can get everything nike and they're gonna flood your uh your facebook they're gonna flood your your youtube channel they're gonna flood everything and see when you when you gotta understand that when you're thinking on higher levels and designing things on higher levels artificial intelligence cannot um cannot mimic or cannot uh, 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 try to relate to you because this in, this AI, this artificial intelligence is designed to work on low energy uh, programs. Like for instance, the Nike, or if you look for a different a purse, then all of a sudden you got a whole load of purses everywhere. <laughs> you know, it, and that's, that's how it works. So your higher, higher dimensional thoughts, your higher dimensional um uh, uh, motives or whatever disrupts the frequencies of artificial intelligence, and this is what we are what we are designed to do. We we designed to destroy viruses. All right. So right now our planet is at the point of you know, it's, hey, I got to get rid of this virus. I got to heat up because nature says you know this is supposed to be hot. You know, and so we are nature's weapons, and you know we're we're the ones who's supposed to be working on creating these systems to fight against this program. Because you got to understand, understand, understand that we have a virus on our planet. All right, we have a virus on our planet, and this virus, you know, it it needs a host. But you know, when it begins to get too hot, the virus cannot survive because the virus is designed to work on low frequencies and low vibrations but when you're dealing with a lot of heat and a lot of energy these are high very high, high vibrations and and high frequencies all right so something for you all to really really ponder on brothers and sisters you know building and creating and designing that which will take you into the next level of uh of thought and the next level of of of, of movement and the next level of energy you know uh, um when I was talking with you all um, this today, uh, there was an image that came up in my head of um, a device, and you know I want to draw it, but at the same time I don't want these inorganic beings to see what I what I'm thinking, you know, because you know they don't have that program, even though they want that program or they want to create that program to uh, see our thoughts, but they don't have that program. But there was a device that um, I saw and I was like, okay, I need welding. I said, I need to, I need to be able to weld 
um, so I can make this device. And I said, well, maybe I can make it out of wood because I know I, I know I'm a, I'm a carpenter. I can I can pretty much damn near build anything out of wood. So I was like, you know, it's something for me to really, you know, ponder on, you know, especially seeing that, um, you know, designs and all that's in our heads are literally unlimited. You know, we have we have unlimited men, uh, 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 mental capacity. So something for, you know, you all to really focus on, something for you all to think about and, you know, bring yourself to a new a new level of energy. Bring yourself to a new level of power just by, you know, focusing on what you want to do and just creating it. You know, just I, I'm just sharing this with you all right now. But, you know, like I said, you know, the, 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 the main thing that we're looking at is when these structures that we create, these structures... Like we say, it not only strengthens the physical realm, it strengthens the astral realm. The astral realm, remember, this is the spirit realm. This is this is what uh, takes you into that supreme power. You know, in order for you to link into that power in the physical realm, you must be able to link both the astral and the physical together. And this is how you'll be able to focus on this power. But the structures on the outside helps the energy on the inside of you. And we've talked about that before. You know, so um, uh, just I'm just passing all this information to you all, and I don't want to be redundant in in, in my message or nothing. But you know, it's um, something for us to really, really, you know, focus on to think about. Um, I've been wanting to like today. Um, I want to uh, go forward and begin building this eight foot pyramid. And these beings are trying to make it rain again. You know, they're they're trying to make it rain. They have the um, they have the uh, the forecast already say, oh yeah, rain today. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And these, you know, they're they're working so hard to cool the planet off. You know, they're working really hard to cool the planet off and make everything cold because, you know, their bodies, you know, like we said, their, their, their bodies are not designed to take this type of energy. I mean, they cannot evolve. And we talked about this before. We talked about how artificial intelligence is not designed to evolve. All right. AI is not designed to evolve. AI is designed to mimic. AI is designed to um uh, recreate the things that you created um, through your texting or whatever. You know, this is how this is how AI does. They they monitor it. it this, it's a system that monitors the things that you look at. Like, for instance, you're looking at bids or whatever. Then it will just flood you with bids. Every every outlet that you have that you they have at your disposal floods you with bids. That's what artificial intelligence does. And all these are low level things. So just like we said, um, dealing with, um, say you you want to try to find somewhere to buy some platinum. You know, why can't I buy some platinum? You know, you think artificial intelligence is going to, you know, feed you that information, say, oh, yeah, you can get some platinum over here or you get some platinum over there. No, AI is looking at just like, OK, this is um, not something that I want to provide them information for because my designers are the ones who are holding all the platinum and I can't let them have this. My designers doesn't want me to allow them to have access to this type of metal because, you know, they may do something that will destroy my designers. You know, and this is how it is. You know, this is how it is. So, um, like I said, something for you to ponder on. Something for you to think about. You know. So, that's about all I got for right now. I ain't got nothing else. I ain't gonna sit here and make up shit. <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, extremely important that you see that what you build, the structures you build, help to increase the energy on the planet. All right. Disperses energy on the planet. And, you know, like we said, the smallest of things for a butterfly, as small as a butterfly is, flapping its wings. All right. The butterfly is flapping its wings 
and the energy from the vibrations from that wing flap changes something on the other side of the world is 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 a powerful statement which means that you know the smallest of things um there's a sister who sent or either a brother i don't know which one it was who sent a um picture and the mother had created a pyramid out of um these craft sticks so I'm going to post that um, on the YouTube community channel so that you all can see what this uh, this uh, sister, the, the mother, had, had built. And it's, it's beautiful. The energy is crazy around it. You know, so what kind of design? And this is what these inorganic beings would call artifacts. You know, they were so in few, in, enthralled without artifacts because uh, they found out that, that we use these for different things and they hoarded them thinking that they're going to get the same energy from it and, and then and they never receive that energy you know you, you you literally have to use this for the reason of increasing your soul's energy but if you don't have a soul it's, it's, it's nothing you can do about it you know so something for you all to think about all right yeah, that's what I think I'm going to make this message. Something for you all to think about. <laughs> Something for you all to think about. All right. So um, I leave you on this note. You know the deal. All power to the multi-chakra celestial angelic beings. May cast rain with you forever and ever. Much power to you all. <laughs>